Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. Let's learn about Chevy Chev's theorem. Previously, we learned about standard deviation and standard deviation we found was just the average distance that a data value is from the mean. So before we get deeply into Chevy Chev's, let's first show you a visualization of what we're talking about when we talk about that standard deviation with our data values. So here's an example. Suppose that in one small town, the mean household income is 34,200 with a standard deviation of 2,200. At least 75% of the salaries lie between what two values? We'll talk about that last sentence here in a minute, but let's just start with this mean of 34,200 and the standard deviation of 2,200. What's happening here? So if we look at a number line and we talk about the salaries of the people in the town, we know that if they all were to share their salaries evenly, the mean average of their salaries is 34,200. I'm gonna put that right in the middle since that is if everybody shared evenly, that's what everybody would get. Then that standard deviation is the average distance from the mean that a data value is. So I'm gonna go up one standard deviation from the mean. I'm gonna go up one of those distances, one 2,200 from that mean. And if I add 2,200 to that mean, that I'm sitting at 36,400. That salary, 36,400, is one standard deviation from the mean. And we said that, you know, that's the average distance that a data value is from the mean. I'm gonna go back one standard deviation from the mean. So again, I'm just going back that 2,200, that distance. And now I'm sitting at 32,000 exactly. That's one standard deviation below the mean. So, you know, somebody's gone out into the town and collected salaries and they found data, that, uh, salaries that are all around here. But maybe that's not all the salaries. Maybe there were people that made more than that. So if I add another standard deviation to this, I'm sitting at 38,600. And there could be people that made that far out and then in this area, and they could even go back. So maybe you had some people whose salaries were less than that. Maybe they're sitting at 29,000, just subtract 2,200, 800 from that. So this is two standard deviations above the mean, and this is two standard deviations below the mean. And remember that distance, that standard deviation, is just the average distance that a data value is from its mean. Okay, so with this kind of in mind, let me go back to Chebyshev's theorem. So Chebyshev's theorem says that for any number greater than one, so we're gonna go more than one standard deviation out. For any number greater than one, at least one minus one over k squared of the data values lie k standard deviations from the mean. What in the world does that mean? Let me help you out, okay? So we want our k to be more than one. We're gonna go more than one standard deviation out. So let's go out two standard deviations. So k is just representing the number of standard deviations that we're looking out. So in other words, here was one standard deviation out. This is two. This is what we're making K right now, is out two standard deviations. And if I go out two standard deviations, I can plug that two into this little formula so that I have one minus one over two squared, which equals one over one fourth, or one minus one fourth, if I have one whole pizza and I eat one fourth of it, that leaves me with, well, we can make a common denominator by writing this as fourths. You know, one whole pizza is the same as four fourths. Subtract one fourth and I'm left with three fourths. Oops, 
three-fourths of my pizza. Or what this says is that three-fourths of the data lie within those two standard deviations from the mean. So in other words, we went out into the town and we collect, collected salaries, lots of different salaries from the town. And we found the mean of those salaries, that's our mean, and we found out that the standard deviation, the average distance of our data were um, 2,200 away. We can now look at that and we know that three-fourths of our data, three-fourths of the salary, at least, at least, at least three-fourths of our salaries fall within 20, between 29,800 and 38,600. So that's always going to be true no matter what the shape of our distribution looks like, whether it's right skewed or left skewed, or maybe it's this beautiful symmetric shape. It doesn't matter what our distribution looks like at least 75% of your data is going to be within two standard deviations from the mean. Now, I can keep doing this, and we can do that again and say, well, what if k is 3? What if we go out three standard deviations from the mean? Then how much of my data will be there? I do this exact same thing where I say 1 minus 1 over 3 squared equals 1 minus 1 ninth. Well, again, I have a whole pizza and I just eat a ninth of it. How much of it's left? Turn that one into nine ninths. Do you agree that that's just equal to one? Minus one ninth, which equals eight ninths. So I know if I go out one more standard deviation, so if I add another 2,200 to this, so that I'm sitting at 40,800, and if I go back a standard deviation, so that I've gone out three standard deviations, out three standard deviations, that's three standard deviations above the mean. This is three standard deviations below the mean. I know that one not that eight nights, eight nights of my data falls within that twenty-seven thousand six hundred and forty thousand eight hundred. So I know that eight ninths of those salaries are between that. So think about a business who wants to come into town and they know the average salary of someone in town and they know the standard deviation of that town, the salaries of that town. Then they can start to make decisions about moving a business into town or not. You know, if my business caters to people who make between 27,600 and 40,800, I know that eight ninths of the town has a salary between that. So it might be a good place for me to put a business. But if my business caters on the higher end of that, then all of a sudden I may not wanna put my business in that town. So knowing the mean and how spread out your data is can really let you know something about that data set. We can keep doing this forever and ever, go out further and further, but really all we need to know for our class is that three-fourths of the data lies within, at least three-fourths of the data lies within two standard deviation, and at least eight-ninths of the data lies within um, three standard deviations. Typically, when we talk about this, we're gonna talk about it as a percent rather than as a fraction. So I say three-fourths, but we know that that three-fourths is equal to 75% because we want our bottom to be 100, multiply the top by, I mean, the bottom to by 25, top by 25, so you end up with 25%. Or you can just simply divide, three divided by four gives you 0.75, which is 75%. This eight-ninths is about 88.9%. When we talk about going out three standard deviations, at least 88.9% of our data is going to fall within three standard deviations. So now that we know a little bit about Chebyshev's theorem, which tells us no matter the shape, 
At least 75% of our data lies within two standard deviations from the mean. And at least 88.9% of our data lies within three standard deviations from the mean. Then we can answer this question. At least 75% of the salaries lie between what two values? Well, we see that 75%, at least 75%, and we're gonna to think to ourselves, that's two standard deviations out. We know that at least 75% of our data is within two standard deviations from the mean. So I'm gonna go out two standard deviations. This was one standard deviation. There's two standard deviations. And I'm gonna go backwards two standard deviations. One standard deviation, two standard deviations. So I know between 29,000, between 29,800 and 38,600, between those two values lie at least 75% of the salaries. Some of them may be a little higher, some of them may be a little lower. Heck, all 100% of them could be in here. We just know that at least 75% of our data will be between those two values. If the question asks at least 88.9% of the salaries, then we would say it's between 27.6 and 40,800. So Chevy Chevs is really powerful but it, because it tells us if we have our mean and we have our standard deviation, we can find out at least how much of our data falls within those um, standard deviations from the mean. Math made simple at Simpson Math. Thanks for watching.